Eyewitness News, the latest update from the Southland's number one news team. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now the latest breaking eyewitness news with Jerry Dunphy, Christine Lund, Ted Dawson with sports, Dr. George Fishback with the weather, and the eyewitness news team. From the desert to the sea to all of Southern California, a good evening. Here's the latest to this hour. Former Beatle John Lennon was shot and killed late tonight outside his luxury apartment building in New York City. Police said the killer, whom they described as deranged, was captured. He was not immediately identified, though. Lennon and his wife, Yoko Ono, were walking into the famed old Dakota apartments when he was shot seven times at point-blank range. The slaying occurred just across the street from Central Park. There were several witnesses. But there's blood all over his stomach also, but he's bleeding out of his mouth. And Yoko Ono screaming moments later. So they, they, they stepped out of a limousine, and they went inside the gate there, and, and then all of a sudden they heard five, six shots, and that was it. Four cops pulled John Lennon out and put him into the back of a police car, and his mouth, he was bleeding from his mouth, and he, he, it was a terrible sight. This recent photo of Lennon and his wife was taken outside the Dakota, that's a Manhattan landmark for nearly a century. The Lennons were married in 1969. Police rushed her to nearby Roosevelt Hospital where her husband was taken, but doctors said he had apparently died instantly. He was 40 years old. As a matter of fact, his birthday was last October. Chris, back to the beginnings of the Beatles. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have a permanent record of them all, of course, and that is naturally their music. And it all began in 1958 for John Lennon uh, when he and Paul McCartney began a two-man band called the Quarrymen at that time, getting their start performing at church socials. Seven years after that, they were joined by George Harrison and drummer Ringo Starr. The Beatles, as they were now called, were the local sensation of their hometown, Liverpool, England, where they headlined at the town's most popular club, the Cavern. One recording contract, and 12 months later, Beatlemania crossed the ocean to the birthplace of rock and roll, the United States, where the Beatles rewrote musical history and created a new lifestyle for teenagers around the world. The Beatles disbanded in 1970 after 24 albums, three movies, and a legend that may never be equaled. Lennon continued writing songs and recording albums himself, but in 1975, he dropped out of the musical scene, saying that he wanted to spend more time with his wife, Yoko Ono, and their son, Sean. It wasn't until last summer that John Lennon returned to music, recording a 14-song album, Double Fantasy, that was released just last month. There were reports that he was planning to tour again, that he was very happy about doing it, felt open, better about the world, a rock and roll adventure uh, that uh, anticipated tour that rumors say would have included an appearance here in Los Angeles in February. John Lennon, once called the guiding spirit of the Beatles, dead tonight at the age of 40. An old friend of John Lennon's, uh, who lives right here in Los Angeles area, is a man uh, known as Murray the K, former New York uh, disc jockey who has known Lennon and the Beatles, all of them, in fact, since 1964. Ann Martin visited with him tonight, talked with him, got some of his thoughts. Ann. As many folks remember, Christine Murray the K helped launch the Beatles' first American hit, I Want to Hold Your Hand. That was 16 years ago. In the years since, he toured with them, worked with them in their movies. This photo was taken while help was made, and Murray Kaufman kept in touch with Lennon through all the controversy of his marriage to Yoko Ono. Sadly, Lennon had just returned to recording after five years of silence when this happened. About him. It, it is, it's a shame because... Uh, he did. It was the beginning of a new way. He, he felt free enough to finally come out of this self-exile of really getting himself together as a person. I mean, he had split from Yoko. He had examined himself. And after he wanted to come back, I mean, it, it took a while and they did come back and they made it work. And he felt free enough now to start to express himself artistically which a lot of people were very happy about. Murray Kaufman remembers Lennon's verve and his energy and the way he cared. Well, for me personally, his kindness. Uh, probably tougher in, on the exterior than a lot of people. But he had a tremendous soul. And if there was something that was bothering you, or there was something in which you found yourself sort of uptight because of the situation. I, uh, my memories of him is he al would always be the first one to really 
try to alleviate whatever problem you had have, and he would do that. Very few people uh, got a chance to, to uh, experience that, and that I, I remember. And uh, just like someone in my family or anything else, you, after a while, you know, it's a shock. But I think that John Lennon would probably agree with a song that George Harrison wrote. And the line goes, life goes on within you and without you. At the same time, though, I think a lot of us who were young teenagers when the Beatles were at their heights may feel that a part of our youth was lost tonight. We'll have more on John Lennon later on. Christine. Okay, thanks, Al. A little bit of new information for you right here on tonight's killing of ex-Beatle John Lennon. New York police have identified the man who was held in custody as 25-year-old Mark Chapman of Hawaii. They say he's been living in Manhattan for about two weeks. They have no information on his background. There are new, no other new details at this point except that he has an ID that uh, is specifically 25-year-old Mark Chapman of Hawaii, been living in uh, Manhattan for a couple of weeks. Jerry. Yes. Repeating our top story, former Beatle John Lennon is dead at the age of 40. He died after suffering seven gunshot wounds outside his New York City apartment building. A suspect, 25-year-old Mark Chapman of Hawaii, has been arrested.